So, hello, welcome, thank you for having me, all of that. This is a delightful spot to bring me to. Very old school, I must say. I approve. This is a nice crossroads to summon a demon. <laughs> should have seen the crossroads outside of Mesopotamia. You should have seen the crossroads during the Black Plague. Jolly old London. Oh, the people would summon me left and right and right and left. <laughs> oh, and they just begged me, please spare me. Please, spare my wife, please. And I did. I always did. <laughs> it's so easy. They'd say, save me from the plague. And I would. But, um, they live in medieval London. Literally everything can kill them. A rusty nail, bad cough. Do you know how many people I saved from the plague didn't die from a cold two weeks later? It was hilarious. Oh. Now, you might be wondering, if you summoned why am I being so upfront about what I did to some of my previous customers? Because I know that you really want what I have to offer. I know that you're going to sign no matter what, aren't you? <laughs> That's why I came. You know, we don't have to come when we're summoned. But we like to. It's fun. You stupid, moronic, short-lived, short-sighted humans. Ah, oh, how can I even explain? Imagine you have a, a, a maze and you've got mice in it. And you take the mice and with a pin knife, one by one, Cut out their eyes. Squeak, 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 squeak. Now they're all blind. You cut off their tails for good measures. They have no balance. You set them in the trap and they, the maze and they're just running all around, banging into each other, biting each other. And you're sitting up there and you're just laughing. And one of them, do you know what one of them does? One of them looks up at you and says, please, I will give you all of my immortal soul. If you would only give me some cheese. That is how pathetic the things that you ask of us are. And yet, you do it over and over again. We give you the cheese and you gobble it up. And with your stupid, pathetic lives, you're dead in a few decades at best. And then you belong to us. Do you know what it's like? We always put out a special welcome mat for our deal makers. Oh yes, we want you to feel special. We want you to feel loved because I want you to know we love you. We love the way you smell. And we especially love the way you taste. Did you know that each soul has a unique taste? Mm. I wonder what yours tastes like. Pretty tough, I bet. Pretty 
bitter. You've been through a lot, haven't you? That's why I know you'll sign. You've got nothing less to lose. You've got nothing at all. You are nothing to me. So, let's talk terms. I give you what you want. And you give me your immortal soul. When you die, there is no resurrection. No clever comebacks, no do-overs, dead as a doornail. And with as much as you've been smoking, I don't think you have too many innings, do you, Governor? Now, you will belong to me, and my rank in hell will shoot up with such a delectable soul, I will lord you over the lords of hell and show them what I've got, this tasty prize. And I will delight over the centuries of devouring your soul. You know, they call it an immortal soul, but it's not really true. Your soul is not immortal. You will eventually wear out if I grind you in my teeth often enough over five or six thousand years. Eventually, it just poof, wears out. Sad, really. I wish I could make it last forever, but... Um, Sadly, I don't have a soul to sell to make that happen. But you do. So, let's get on with it. Tell me, tell me, who do you want me to save? Oh, of course I know. You would never sell your soul for yourself because you already know you're damned don't you? But you know that I can't resist because I want your soul for myself. So, who is it? What is their name? Astra. You want me to save a young girl named Astra. I know where she is. Serial killer has her. He has not been gentle. He hasn't really hurt her yet, but that's only because he likes it when they get more scared. He likes it when they're really hungry. He likes to see if they'll eat the rats that he throws down in the pit. It's not gonna be pretty. Let me tell you, his success rate is 100%. No one has ever escaped him. We like him down below. We're a bit of fans. We can't wait until he comes to join us. But in this contract, I have the location of Astra. All you need to do is sign. Sign, and your soul is mine. Sign, and I will tell you where she is. Do we have a deal? Now, sign. Mine, John Constantine, you will suffer thousands of years at my mercy. Oh, Astra, 14 miles down this road, 
old farmhouse 266 Shrewsbury Lane. There's a small barn in the back, partially collapsed, a well just behind it. That's where he keeps his victims. You can't miss it. That's where he's keeping Astra. And now, John Constantine, your soul is mine. What do you mean? You signed. You... You signed Mickey Mouse? In all the ages of hell, no one has ever dared try such a thing. This is still binding. Well, it, well, it should be binding. Fine. But mark my words, Constantine. I will have you. Mickey Mouse, did you enjoy this video? Good, good. Let me get your signature just to make sure you liked it. I'm joking, I'm joking, of course. But if you didn't like this video, subscribe to Roleplay Riot. Uh, perhaps you'd like to watch another one of my videos. And um, do be careful whenever going to a crossroads.